In this video, we're going to go through CodeScan and getting the uh, all-in-one CodeScan bundler going on your machine. Uh, if you haven't already, uh, head over to www.code-scan.com and click Try It Now. It'll take you to this page, which is uh, an instruction uh, manual on how to get Sonar Cube, Jenkins, and CodeScan all set up nicely. You'll need uh, Java 8 installed. What you need to do, if you Google uh, Java, and you can download Java directly, install that, and then head over um, and click the download latest link, which will take you to this section here. You need to download the CodeScan bundler, which will get you a file like that. Once the file is downloaded, you need to execute the CodeScan bundler jar file with the Java runtime environment. On Windows, you can do this mostly just by double clicking it, or uh, in some operating systems, you might need to start it um, specifically with the Java runtime environment. At this point, it'll spend some time downloading all the prerequisites and uh, setting up the environment. Uh, it'll at one point it will prompt you for a license uh, and it'll take you to the license screen uh, which is the screen you need to fill it in with your details and you'll get an email with uh, with the license in it which you can copy and paste back into the into the license uh, prompt um, if something goes wrong with that you can always uh, put the license into the code scan uh, configuration in Sonar cube manually once the installation is complete, you'll have an interface like this where you can uh, run the SonarCube instance directly. You can log in. The default password is admin, and the password is admin. And you can also launch Jenkins. And Jenkins is a continuous integration tool which helps you to execute uh, the projects. Now we have created a default project this project is all set up it's parameterized which means that you can uh, set your own uh, settings every time you run it and what it does is it invokes uh, a download of the code from Salesforce and, and runs Sonar you can um, with Jenkins you can set it up to do all sorts of things like download your code from Git or um, other things like that um, at this point we can uh, build this project now if you don't want to copy and paste all the project uh, the settings every time then you can um, create a new project based on this and copy from the code scan template and you can call it test and then you can set up the default settings in here I'll do that now. I've got a little test environment which I'll put the default values in. And you can change the URL to test.salesforce if you're using a sandbox. You can change the project key and the project name. And uh, the rest should be okay to go. Um, see? So the project's settings are all go, and you can press build. You can monitor the build by going into the build itself and checking the console, and you'll see that it's running. Once the job is finished, you can head over to Sonar Cube and refresh the screen, and you can see your results here. You can get more information about Jenkins and CodeScan and SonarCube from the CodeScan bundler page here, uh, and including uh, information about uh, taking this taking this process into production. And of course, if you have any other troubles, please contact support at codescan.com.